This steel, etched with the name of Zhao Lin Mausoleum of Tang Emperor Taizong, was erected by Bi Yuan, the governor of Shanxi province during the Qing Dynasty 270 years ago. It stands at the entry to the world's largest royal mausoleum, Zhao Lin Mausoleum, where Emperor Taizong, the second emperor of the Tang Dynasty, was buried. Born in 599, Emperor Taizong was the second son of the first Tang Dynasty Emperor Gao Zhu. He is regarded as a co-founder of the Tang Dynasty for his role in encouraging his father to rebel against the Sui Dynasty in 617. Taizong subsequently played a pivotal role in defending several of the dynasty's most dangerous opponents before Tang Dynasty was established in 618. His military exploits established him as an important figure in the army and the government of his father. After one successful battle, he returned to the capital and Chang'an, wearing gold armor and riding at the head of a long line of people, which include two rebel leaders, their course, and his soldiers of 10,000 heavily armed cavalry. After the founding of the Tang Dynasty by Emperor Gao Zhu, the emperor's eldest son, Li Jiancheng, was established as the heir apparent. Li Shimin, who co-founded the dynasty, was rewarded Qing Wang, Duke of the State of Qing. On July 1st, 626, hearing that the crown prince was going to stage a coup and take the throne, Li Shimin set up an ambush at Xuanwu Gate, the northern gate leading to the palace city of the imperial capital Chang'an, in the early morning of July 2nd, 626. There, Crown Prince Li Jiancheng and his younger brother Li Yuanji were killed by Li Shimin and his men. Within three days after the coup, Li Shimin was installed as the Crown Prince. Emperor Gao Zhu abdicated another six days later and passed the throne to Li Shimin, who would become known as Emperor Taizong. Emperor Taizong ruled for 23 years from 626 to 649 inaugurating one of the most glorious reigns in Chinese history and laying a foundation for a prosperous Tang Empire that would endure almost 300 years. Taizong became the model emperor who set the standard for every other successful ruler that followed him. His name was always invoked in praise for his policies and he still considered one of the greatest rulers in Chinese history. As a prince, Emperor Taizong enjoyed hunting on horseback. His obsession with hunting helped him locate his final resting place. 52 miles northwest of Xi'an lies Mount Zhouzong. Towering 3,900 feet above sea level, the peak has a very peculiar, unmistakable profile. And ancient sources report that the mountain was sufficiently high to be seen from the Tang capital, today's Xi'an. Selecting a mountain for his tomb, Emperor Taizong started a tradition which was to be followed by almost all the emperors of his dynasty. The construction of the mausoleum began in 636 with the burial of Empress Zhang Sun and was completed in 649, the year Emperor Taizong died. It is recorded that the tomb chamber was tunneled deep into the mountain and flagged by eastern and western rooms, where were arranged stone boxes containing sacrificial objects made of gold, silver, jade, and other materials. This is supposed to be the entrance of the tomb chamber. The 755 feet long passage leading to the tomb chamber was guarded by five stone gates. In 908, one year after the Tang Dynasty was overthrown, Emperor Taizong's Shaolin Mausoleum was looted by Wen Tao, a warlord of the Five Dynasties period. North of the mountain peak lies the Spirit Way and a group of ceremonial buildings. The original buildings have not survived through the ages. Today, we can only imagine the grandeur and the glory of the Tang Dynasty architecture from their large-scale foundations. Among all the existing relics of Zhao Lin Mausoleum, the exquisite relief sculptures of six steeds of Zhao Lin were works gained the highest praise of all. In 630, after Empress Zhang Sun was buried, Emperor Taizong commissioned six of his favorite war steeds sculpted into six stone steeds to commemorate his achievements on the battlefields and in memory of his beloved war horses. 
the best of their kind. The six steeds were carefully selected from a good breed of Central Asian and Persian horses. Before they were sculptured, the renderings were first drawn by the greatest Tang Dynasty painter Yan Li Ben. Based on the steeds' images and the backgrounds on facts, they were carved on stone slabs, eight feet high and ten feet wide, placed in rows symmetrically along the North Spirit Way. Emperor Taizong had been accompanied by his six steeds till 1921, when they were broken into pieces for easy transportation. A notorious Chinese art dealer named C. T. Lu, whose Chinese name was Lu Qinzhai, managed to ship and sell two reliefs for $125,000 to Yupen. Today, two reliefs are in the Penn Museum in the U.S. And the other four reside in Xi'an's Steel Forest Museum. Emperor Taizong can only be accompanied by six replica steeds of his most favorite war horses. This is a tomb of Wei Zheng, one of the 194 attendant tombs of Zhao Lin. Wei Zheng was Taizong's prime minister and was known for providing the emperor with honest feedback and constructive criticism. When Wei Zheng died after serving Taizong for 17 years, Taizong burst into tears at his funeral. He said to his cabinet, "Have a man as a mirror who reflects my flaws. I can rectify my mistakes. Now that Wei Zheng passed away, I lost my mirror." To praise officials for their outstanding service in the founding of the Tang Empire and in building up his political power. Emperor Taizong granted favors for his officials to be buried in his mausoleum complex. As a result, 194 officials and nobles were buried around Taizong, making Zhao Lin Mausoleum the largest imperial tomb not only in China but also in the world.